I am his and he is mine In the end, it's him and I Gwen was walking towards her classroom when someone pulled her stance of her hair from the back She groaned in pain, she turned around and saw her cousin who is about to walk to school I am Jungkook, what is your problem? JK, watch out little girl He said in his teasing manner When I'm not a little, she said in annoying voice. When tried to punch him on his chest before that jungle pushed her head and she bagged every little. Shaky, you can't reach me. He went away from there with a mocking laugh. Wine went away from there with frustration. Wine, wait for my turn. JK and Wine are cousins. They live together. Jungkook houses next to Wine. He always teases Wine and call her little, which makes Wine mad because they are now in university. Wine is fresh junior and Jungkook is our senior. Days kept. Wine, mom, wine, go to Aunt House and give her this tray of food. Wine smirked and went there. She knocked the door of her aunt's house when Jungkook opened the door. JK, what are you doing here, little one? Wine took a long breath and said, I'm here to meet Aunt. Move aside. She sat with tight smile. Aunt, wine, come inside. Jungkook stared at her with small eyes and moved aside to give her some space. When Aunt, how are you doing? Mom sent this for you. She takes the food tray from her hand. Aunt, my child, come sit. Have lunch with us. When looked at Jungkook with smirk and sat down on the chair. When, okay. And he doesn't bother you anymore, right? She asked Wine, pointing at Jungkook. Wine, no, and he doesn't. Jungkook sighed in relief. Wine, but you know I saw him flirting with some girl at school and when I saw him, he told me not to tell you this. Jungkook looked at her with his angry eyes. Mr. Jun Jungkook, his dad said in angry voice from behind. Jakey dad. When I looked at Jungkook with smirk and Jakey was looking at her like he could eat her alive. Wine gulped. What she invited for herself, she knows Jungkook wouldn't spare her for this. She immediately stands up and said, When I remember mom asked me to come home quickly and going, she quickly walked out from there before listening to anyone. At night, when was in a room, she heard some noise coming out from the window. She looked at the window confusingly when someone knocked her window. When got up from the bed curiously and went to check, she opened window blinds and saw the face which she was afraid to face. He was standing with his playful spark. Wine bit her lower lip. He gestures with his eyes to open the window. Wine gulped. She knows if she doesn't open the door, he will for sure kill her. She opened the window. He gets inside. Wine, what are you doing here? Chicky, you forget what you did in the afternoon? Wine, uh huh? What? What I did? She said, not daring to look into his eyes. He took steps towards her slowly. She took a step back from him until her back touched the wall. He put his hand on the wall beside her. Check it. You became much daring, baby. Wayne looked in his eyes and rolled her eyes on him. 
Jakey would do to hold out a gun, he moved so much closer to her. When, what if I do? Jakey, this motherfucker is running too much. I know how to shut this up. When, get out. He laughed. Jakey, what made you upset? And when did you see me flirting with girls? When, why you were with Gia? Don't you flirting with her? Jakey, you're jealous? When, why would I be jealous? I'm also going to make friends. Jakey, dare to do that? When, why can't I? You can't flirt with anyone and I can't. He reasoned abruptly and she closes her eyes tightly. He, after some time, he looked at her who was standing with closed eyes. She was so small beside him. She slowly opened her eyes and looked at him, who was already looking at her. Jakey, so that was the reason you weren't talking to me? Wine didn't say anything and rolled her eyes on him again. He put hand on her soft cheeks. Fine, no, go out. She was pushing him, putting her hands on his chest. He abruptly held her hand and pulled her into him and held her tightly. He sniffed her hair, which always gave him peace to his soul. Wine put her head on his chest. Yeah, they're in a relationship. Nobody knows that. They didn't tell this to anyone. He always came late at night to give her surprises. After that, Jungkook left from there. The next evening, in university, Wen was in the cafe alone. She was waiting for Jungkook who told her that he would come after his lecture. When someone tapped her shoulder, she turned back and saw Jia standing behind her. Jia, you must be Wen. Jungkook is calling me in a changing room. Come with me. Wen was confused. Why didn't Jungkook call her? Wen got up and started walking behind them. They reached in the changing room. Wen went inside and saw no one there. Wen. There's no one, she said confusingly. Her other three friends of Jia came from back. Jia, oh, poor Wine, we were just playing with you. Wine looked at them with angry expressions. She moved ahead to leave from there. Jia, why are you in a hurry? She held her arm and pointed her friends something. They threw water on her, which made her wet. They held her. One tried to fight them. One of them opened the cupboard and they pushed her inside the chaining cupboard and locked the cupboard. One bracelet fell outside of the locker. She was repeatedly locking the cupboard. She took out her phone with trembling hands and tried to dial Jungkook's number. But it was showing no signal. She continues. He tried to do that. It was dark inside the cupboard, and she was having the panic attack. When Jungkook, please, she again dialed his number, and this time it rang. Jungkook picked it up. When Jungkook, please save me. He's here. Jungkook walked me. His sewing voice rang through the phone and the call dropped. JK Pop, he picked up the call and heard Wayne's sewing voice. JK, Wayne, where are you? 
he went, he shouted, upon hearing her voice. Jungkook immediately ran to find her. He tried calling her again and again, but his call wasn't reached. He went to the cafe to look at her, but found her nowhere. He tried asking for her, but nobody knows where she is. His breath was normal. He knows she is afraid to be alone in darkness, and something clicked in his mind. He ran somewhere. When Pop went lean inside the cupboard and covered her both ears, the darkness was consuming her up. When no don't come closer to me, she was shaking badly. She covers her ears. When she was child, her locked her up in the cupboard. Jungkook saved her that day. From that day, she is afraid of darkness and a panic attack. Jungkook Pop, I reached the changing room. This is the only place where the lockers are. He saw Ryo Ji and her friends. They looked at Jiggy and become frightened. Jiggy, did he saw you going somewhere? Jia comes ahead towards Jungkook. Jia, uh, no, Vine is not here. We didn't see her. Jungkook noticed unusual behavior in an action. He looked around the room and found something. He looked back at her again and with his fierce look and stiff jaw. He quickly opened the door and found Wen sitting, leaning onto the door. He quickly held her falling figure in his arms. She was having a normal breath. Her figure was shaking badly. She tightly holds Jungkook. JK Wen, look at me. And there she loses her consciousness. Due to panic attack, he immediately carried her in the bridal style. He turned around and looked at Jia with his most dangerous look. Anger can be seen from his red eyes. GK, you're going to pay for this. And walked out with her unconscious figure in his arms. He walked to his car and put her figure inside the car. He quickly took her to her house. Their parents weren't home. They were on a business party tonight. He carried her to her room and laid her on the bed. Her clothes were wet. He takes out the shirt from cupboard. He turned off the light and changed her clothes in the dark. He didn't try to look at her for once. He made her wear his shirt and then turned on the lights again. He looked at her who was sweating badly. Sherm is having attacks in her unconscious states. She was murmuring some things. Yin. Jungkook. Save me. Please see. He laid with her, he pulled her closer to him and made her head lead into his chest. He held her tightly and patted her hair, he was rubbing her back softly, kissing her hair. He was afraid to see her panicking like this, he didn't left her alone in his life after that incident. He always protected her.
at midnight, huh? When woke up with a scream and sat on the bed with her abnormal heart rate and dry throat. JK, who just went to sleep, woke up because of Wayne's scream. Jungkook sat on the bed and looked at her worriedly. In the moonlight that was coming from window, she was glowing. She looked at him with her teary eyes. He pulled her into his lap and hold her chin. He stiffed his jaw. Jake, never, never again. Not in this life. Nobody is going to hurt you ever again. She put her head on his chest and packed herself tightly to him. Jungle patted her hair. Don't be afraid, little one. You have me with you. You are not alone. Wine looked at him. Jake, if you're going to be like this, then mom and dad will find us. Wine, sleep with me today, she said in her soft voice. Jake ruffled her hair. You don't want me to leave them. I'm not going anywhere. Sleep right beside you. He gently, he said gently with this pure love. Wayne was looking at the person who loves her unconditionally. He's always there for her whenever she needed him. He always protected her. If she doesn't leave him, then what would have happened in her life? Her eyes got teary, thinking everything he had done for her. After a long moment, he attached her forehead with her. Jake, do you know how much you make me worried? I can't see you in pain. I'm sorry I was late. One shakes her head one. You were always on time. I love you, Jakey. I love you too, more than anyone in the world.